1994 was a monumental year for video games. Super Metroid, Warcraft, Doom 2, System Shock, TIE Fighter. But there was one game that bucked the trend and defied them all, and it was Balls. And it was also called Balls. <laughs> Yes, in a time where games were making huge strides visually, mechanically and conceptually, Balls 3D showed us how you can take good technology and do very bad things with it. Balls was a 3D-ish fighter for Mega Drive, SNES and the 3DO. Oh my, was this game horrible. Characters included a stupid clown, a ballerina and everyone's favourite, a farting monkey. This game is called Balls because, as you can see, the characters are made of balls. This actually created a pretty interesting 3D look to the fighters, especially when they would stretch apart and perform special moves on each other. But within minutes of playing this game, I actually wanted to punch myself in the testicles. Fights took place in rotating 3D arenas and were generally a button mashy, clunky affair. The repetitive sound bites of characters squawking and grunting made my ears bleed. Oh, and that music it sounded like some sort of awful porno rap. Every single moment flinging these clumsy sprites around was excruciating. But being a pretty poor kid at the time and a frugal game swapper, it was the only game I owned for quite a while. So I spent a lot of time playing with balls. I'll never get my time with balls back, but it taught me a lesson that when all you have is something like this, maybe it's better to not play anything at all.